Welcome to another episode of Having to be look at. We're gonna look at a game demo today, and that game demo is Morbid Lords of the Isle demo. This is a sequel, I believe. Uh, there was a, a Morbid before this, but I think it was top down. Never played it. Smashing. Thought, um, hmm, this looks interesting. Maybe I'll give this a bash. And I, I, I did, and it's just Indie Souls. It's Indie Dark Souls. Do you like Dark Souls? You'll probably think this is no bad. I like the aesthetic. It's all icy and castles and shite. Killing things with big swords. Kind of anime looking. Sort of. Enemies can be really annoying. Like in every Dark Souls game. Or every Souls-like game. Can we maybe just have a normal hack and slash, please? Well, like fluid combat and, you know, fun. Not that this isn't fun, but it, you know what you're getting with a Souls game. You're getting frustration. Death. Destruction. Dankness. Dankness. So I'm pretty sure this game is out in April. I think it's late April. I can't remember the exact date, but it's, it's that month anyway. And like I was saying before... Or not in this video, but in previous videos. April and March are becoming busy months. It was February, days gone by. Now it's March, April. Aye, so you got some silver-haired bird in this. Cool. I like that. Nice sword. You eventually get like a gun thing. And you can interrupt attacks. And the way you reload it is by defeating enemies. So watch how you use it. You've got your standard dodge roll. Dodging... Everton takes up stamina. You can die in like three hits. Standard fare for this type of game, really, isn't it? It's just like you, there's nothing new under the sun. But what is under the sun, is it done well? Is it done well enough for your money? And I pre ordered this in shop too, not a sponsor, Tubes. And it was £26, so it's probably worth £26. It's £29.99 on Amazon. I think it's probably worth that as well. But that is entirely up to you. Would you rather support indies with cheaper games, much cheaper games with physical editions? Or would you rather spend 50 quid on Hellblade that's uh, digital only? Or Alan Wake that's digital only? Aye. Actually, I think I might start supporting these indie studios a wee bit more because, to be quite frank, I'm getting fucking sick of these only digital copy games that are full price. 50, 60 quid, you're like, nah man, you fucked it, 30 pound, make it 30 if you're going to go all digital, right? Or fuck off, how about that? Stop making shite deals with Epic, because it, it's no done you any good in the long run, Alan Wake 2 is sold fucking pish, okay, it's sold pish, in a day like this, under a million sales is probably considered a failure. You now if it was an indie title, that cost a fraction of what it costs to make one of these High budget games. I don't think it would be seen as a failure. But then, what the fucking tits do I know? I think this game's no bad. I don't think it's great. I think it's, uh, but it's it's worth your time just because the game's no super smashing great. All the fucking bells and whistles doesn't mean it's no worth your time. Give it a shot. There's a demo. It's free. See you later.